So over the past few weeks, I have been doing an entire house declutter. I decided that I need to do a spring cleaning and decluttering because I've been feeling overwhelmed with a few things I have in my home. I don't have a lot of stuff really per se if you compared some people to myself, but for me, I was feeling like I couldn't get things done because there were too many paper clutter items on the floor. My closet was filling up. My kids' drawers were closing. Um, some of our homeschool stuff was just overflowing. A bathroom drawer, I couldn't always get closed because there was too much stuff to um, clog my mind. And the actual drawers and places that I needed to have uh, less stuff in and so I've been just working on getting rid of purging my entire house so when I say my entire house we have a 950 square foot small home we're a family of five in this space so stuff can't live in here for a long time um, or a lot of items because it just feels crowded and cluttered and if you've been following me for a while you know I do like less. Less is more for me and my home. I'm not a minimalist, not at all. I like my decor. I do like thrifting. Um, I like having some options for clothes, but yes, I did just do a closet refresh too that you can check out where I have a lot less clothes in there too. So that was all part of this. It just really kept this idea rolling of why have so much stuff? Kids play with boxes and pencils and paper and in the spring, summer months, it's warmer so we're outside a lot more. Um, certain just building blocks that they have to be creative with is enough. We don't need all these little gadgets and gizmos and electronic toys and things that just crowd our minds and space. So I'm going to share a few of the places I decluttered with you. I'm not done yet, so I might even tack on some more of what I've done today and in the future, so I'll be wearing different clothes because I just have felt the need to purge and even being pretty harsh. Like I've said I've been harsh before, but there's things that I decided I'm not gonna keep because why keep it if it's just taking up valuable real estate? I've also shared tips on YouTube here on how to live in a small home, um, like habits to have, tips and tricks on keeping a tidy home, and I'll try to link those in the description box for you. You can also see my small home tour video as well to see how I've organized my whole home. Um, since then, it's been several, several months, and so things have just come into the home that I wanted to take out and purge. And like I said, it's not a lot. It's not like I have an entire like trailer full of stuff but for me it's feeling really good and feeling like I can be more at peace with where I'm at with my stuff because stuff doesn't go with us less is also more simplicity is best I feel like so we can be more intentional with people and um, other things that are more important than stuff so let's do some decluttering and just bring clean out our homes and our minds and just start fresh. On this particular day, I had to get some cleaning done in my living space, which was perfect for setting myself up for feeling like I could declutter. So I just did some quick dusting, retidying, and assessing my blankets because you know what? How many blankets do we really need? Yes, I love throw blankets, don't get me wrong, and Afghans. I probably have four or five in my living room. Do I really need four or five? And the answer is no. So I think getting rid of one blanket is just fine. Yes, there are five of us, but one's a baby, one's a toddler, and one's five, you know, so we all could fit under one blanket, really. But anyways, then I just needed to clean my picture frames because they get dusty and dirty. And as I clean these, I think, hmm, I could declutter some of my old pictures or tuck them away for saving and put some new ones in. I like refreshing my pictures that I have out of my family and these ones are over a year, a year and a half old. So as I'm cleaning, I'm thinking, okay, time to get on walmart.com and order some because they will be delivered to me within the next week, which is wonderful. Or I could do it as a pickup. 
and then time to get to my coffee table. So we use it sometimes to color at, to do school at, and it gets marker crayons. And so I'm just using my magic eraser to get it clean. And then there are two little drawers on the side of the couch where there have been little things put in there. And so, oh, sorry, the sun just set, so the lighting changed. But anyways, the little things in there that I no longer need or that the girls don't even realize they tucked in there little pieces of paper, um, little craft things that just don't need to be in that spot. And then getting some dusting done on my built-in shelves. And I really love this space and I keep it pretty similar other than changing out a few minor details of some like faux flowers per season. And so I don't feel like this space right there really bothers me or gives me much for stress because it's not overwhelming. My hallway was on my list to clean as well um, and getting up high first and then getting down low. And as I clean my hallway and record this voiceover, I think, all right, I have some nice closet space in this hallway. What do I need to take out of my linen closet at the end? What do I need to declutter in my actual cleaning closet? Because even though there's good cleaning products out there and good cleaning items, do we really need something for every space in our house? And for me, the answer is no. So uh, decluttering some extra cleaning rigs. I don't need 30 cleaning rigs, but just trying to think through my whole house as I even clean. And then I wanted to just fix my couch cushions, at least re-fluff them up a little bit. I have extra stuffing from this funky pillow that my sister had given me, and it works great to fill my couch backing in because we have had this couch since we moved to this house seven years ago. It was someone else's before then who had pets, and you can tell um, it just is a worn and loved couch. But it suits us well for now and I just try to keep it nice and keep it well while I can because <laughs> oh, I'm laughing at my kids because why buy anything that's super expensive or new when it's not going to be um, treated the best it can. Okay, decluttering time. This space is storage for music. And what am I pulling out? Not music. So my kids have put some things there, like these little drawing mats that were um, gifts, but they are so messy. Their fingers just get covered in wet, markery grossness. So those are going to be donated. And some of their papers that are no longer needed. And like I mentioned at the beginning, it's the paper clutter that sometimes just throws me overboard. So even from our hallway closet where I do our homeschooling box, which this is in coloring box, it's just time to look through it again. And I know I've looked through it six months ago with you guys and reassessing what's in there. Do we, did we really use this book? Um, is every page kind of scribbled on, on a couple coloring books? So just what do I need to get rid of purge from the house? What did the girls not ever use? What could we give to a cousin or a friend? And just think through all the items we have as we wrap up the school year and, um, just think about what kind of papers do I want in my home to keep. <music> This drawer in the bathroom is some hair items. The girls have the girls have some ponytails and barrettes and headbands and combs that we no longer use. And it just it needed a good wiping out too, but there's so many things in there that sometimes it wouldn't even close. So I decided to go through, get rid of a few of the hair clips that we don't use, some of the headbands that don't fit right. Um, even if they were new, I'm gonna donate a couple of the headbands to wherever I guess some friends or just donate it because they don't even wear them so just things like that that make it easier to see what's in the drawer instead of wishing I knew what was in there then under my vanity we have this box my cleaning spray and a wipe and our bath toys so I am just going through this box here I don't have a lot in there but there's things like shampoo and conditioner we don't use at our home 
this item that I got new from Norwex for hosting a party a year ago. I never used it. Some things from another company I never used. If I'm not using them, if I'm not going to use them, I just need to give them to a friend or donate them. And then another place I have kind of forgotten about is my side of the bed, this little nightstand area. I haven't even really opened it very much other than I have a few essential oils in there for our humidifier that I use. But there's so many extra paper pieces, again, um, different manuals for certain things, but you can always find those online and cords. Does anyone else struggle with having too many chargers and cords and you don't even know where they belong? I know we do. So I'm going to just declutter some of the things, move items to where they belong, put some books back on our bookshelf and be done with that space. Quick five minutes is really all some of these spaces have taken. And then while I'm in the bedroom, I'm just going to go through some of my clothes, extra clothes for spring, summer. That's what this tote is under our bed. And my little guy is helping me, of course. But I'm just going through thinking, what will I actually wear? What did I not wear last year? And just decided to tuck away and purge a few pieces out of here. And finally, just another reassessment of my closet space. When I did my little renovating of putting the wallpaper on the back, I did a little purging then, but you know what? You can do more. There's always time to do more, I feel like. A few things I found thrifted that I realized I didn't end up liking, and a couple other pieces that I know someone else will love. And I even found a couple dresses that my niece wore already, and she is loving. So just getting rid of things is a beautiful thing. know in the comments if you do a spring declutter um if things kind of overwhelm you a little bit and you're like me and need to just have a good purge even if it's several days long and just get rid of things in your home but anyways i hope you enjoyed just seeing a little bit of my decluttering of parts of my home and just how it can be so freeing to have less in our homes